Hello world, uh, welcome back to the Eric Meach Global Network. Um, we are at the, uh, the end of the month of March. Uh, the seasons are changing no matter what side of the hemisphere you're on. But uh, no getting around it, the COVID-19 coronavirus is certainly uh, the major point of news around the globe. I hope you're doing well. I hope your loved ones are doing well. Uh, but uh, it's, it's something else. Uh, more and more cases are coming up, more and more positive tests, more and more people are getting admitted to the hospital, and, and very unfortunately, more and more people are dying. But uh, I try to see the positives in this. Uh, my mates that I work with, you know, there's a, a lot of worry amongst everybody and their families and wives and kids and, you know, their parents and their parents. So, but I, I keep trying to be the positive one around. You know, I'm trying to use a little bit of humor um, what I do for a living, um, I, you know, people, people die, no matter what people are, are dying. Uh, I think that's the one, uh, certainly the two guarantees in life, right? Uh, death and taxes. So at some point it's all going to catch us. Um, you know, I'm certainly not making light of it. And uh, believe me, I'm, I'm taking everything seriously to protect myself and my family and my workmates and my loved ones, but anyways, uh, I was finishing a patrol today and I uh, see a lady walking along uh, completely by herself on a walkway um, wearing a mask. And I'm just thinking, is, I, uh, it's, that's, I don't know, I don't get it. I don't quite understand it. Uh, I read somewhere in the state of uh, New York in a hospital, someone shoved somebody over because they got too close to him. And uh, that elderly person that was pushed over because they got too close to somebody else passed away and died. <laughs> um, I, I hope we're not just freaking out, man. I, so I, I looked up some things. Uh, globally, 1.25 million people die a year in automobile accidents. Uh, diabetes globally, 2.9 million people will die a year. Cancer was 18.1 million people. Pedestrians, 1.35 million people globally a year. I under, this this thing is unknown, it's frightening, it's scary, but under the precautions we're taking, individually and, and uh, you know countrywide, it's it's terrible, but it's just it's just another way we've discovered that is going to kill people. And many of these deaths are also attributed to many other uh, pre-existing conditions. So did the, the virus kill them? Or was their immune system so weak from their cancer, their COPD, their diabetes and heart, heart uh, problems, heart disease, respiratory disease, that they would have died anyways. And I'm not being insensitive, man. The loss of life is terrible. I deal with it in my line of work. I, it, it's, it is absolutely horrible. But 800,000 people around the world will kill themselves, uh, statistics-wise. That's, that's the statistics I got. And this is all by Google, so it's not me making stuff up. Uh, 600,000 people died globally of, of opioid overdose or opioid abuse. 320,000 people drown a year. The flu, the, the normal, whatever you call it, the influenza, 250 to 500,000 people die a year. And here's the weird one, old age, 75 plus, 56 million people die a year. So if you take all those other causes of death away, 56 million people die a year from old age. Uh, heart disease, 17.6 million, and respiratory disease like COPD and asthma or you know other other lung and, and respiratory problems, three million people. 
I know the numbers are going to grow. I know people uh, are going to, you know, continue to get sick and get admitted to the hospital. Some are going to recover. Some will will recover with maybe permanent problems or, uh, you know, scarring of the lungs or you know side effects. And some are going to die. But if you if you look at strictly the the doomsday number, uh, it's it's going to terrify you. But there are so many other ways that you could die every day of your life every year so i'm just trying to take things as, as positive as possible getting in fights in the supermarket freaking out walking around like you you know everything around you could get you sick that's not healthy it's not doing anybody any good it's certainly not not doing you any good wash your hands keep a good distance away from people especially if you're forced to be close by and and look after your own health if you're, you're eating hot dogs and fast food and smoking cigarettes or vaping and you're worried about the COVID virus, for heaven's sakes, man, I don't know. Stay positive, folks. Check out my Corona Barrier. I think it was COVID update number four, episode four. And just take care of yourself. But, but man, we got to We got to just stay positive and, and look out for yourself and look out for one another without being, I don't know. Take care. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for checking in.